UC Marines are way too busy. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. As you probably guessed, not very well. Keeping Mast out of the loop regarding this particular mission has proven exceptionally difficult. But we've managed to keep your involvement in the dark. Sparing the lives of the soldiers on SY-920 has definitely made our position with the top brass much easier. But you did so with an abundance of stealth and restraint. That's exactly what we're looking for in a SysDev operative. Starting a firefight on SY-920 would have been an inappropriate course of action. We favored the quiet approach. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short, and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? The conduction grid? That's... brilliant. But is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. If that's the case, inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. Of course I am, but it's a calculated risk. It's long overdue. All right. I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. I appreciate the sacrifice you made. Going undercover. Everything looks good. It's tough not seeing any action, but securing a station like this is a pretty important duty. Things were a little too loose under Commander Woods. Commander Natara, we have stricter checkpoints, more patrols, and better security. 